Cryoelectron tomography provides 3D snapshots of cells and visualizes protein complexes at molecular resolution. The workflow begins with cells, which are prepared by routine cell culture methods on electron microscopy grids. Cells are preserved in their natural hydrated state by rapid freezing in a vitrobot. Vitrification cools the sample so fast that water molecules do not have time to crystallize, avoiding damage caused by the formation of crystals at slower freezing rates. To achieve the rapid cooldown of the sample, a thin film of liquid is required. For this purpose, the vitrobot automatically removes excess buffer by blotting the grids. Immediately after, the cells are automatically immersed in liquid ethane at minus 180 degrees Celsius. The flash frozen cells are now vitrified and the EM grid is transferred to the cryofib. The Aquilose cryofib is a dedicated cryo dual beam microscope. This instrument is used to produce thin electron transparent samples from the cells, which can be imaged later by cryotomography in the cryos. For preparation, the frozen EM grid is mounted on a cryo holder and loaded onto the cryo stage. The Aqualose system ensures cells are kept vitreous at cryo temperature during loading and fib milling. Next, the stage is rotated and a gas injection system is used to apply a platinum layer, which protects the sample from ion beam erosion. Inside the cryo dual beam microscope, the electron beam is used for imaging the sample and the ion beam ensures precise removal of material from vitrified cells. To excise a region of interest from a vitrified single cell or a high pressure frozen sample, the areas to be removed are first marked. The ion beam is then used to precisely remove frozen cellular material. In the next step, the region of interest is then secured to the cold needle of the Easy Lift system and afterwards cut free with the ion beam. The cutout sample is then transferred to a second EM grid inside the Aquilose. This grid contains small side posts where the lamella is attached. After attachment, the needle is cut free. For the last step, the bulk lamella sample is thinned down using the ion beam until it is about 200 nanometers thin. The frozen cell sample is now thin enough so that electrons can pass through during electron tomography acquisition. In the last step, the in-chamber sputter coating system is used to apply a thin conductive layer of platinum on top of the lamella sample to prevent that it charges up during 3D imaging in the TEM. The sample is now transferred to the Cryos TEM system. The Cryos is the leading cryo EM platform and a 300 kilovolt transmission electron microscope. It allows loading of multiple grids using an automated sample loading system. During cryo electron tomography, an image series is acquired as the fib prepared lamella is tilted incrementally. Finally, the images are combined by computer into a 3D tomogram. The tomogram is a snapshot of the preserved hydrated cell interior where protein structures can be explored in their native environments. <laughs>